here, here, here we go. Well, good morning. I did have enough time to make some dumb bitch juice. So, what am I expecting from this? What am I expecting from this track? I mean, I'm gonna just look at the tweet real quick, announcing the.
mainly on Nintendo Switch titles launching this year, including new details on Pikmin 4. So, obviously, I, Pikmin 4 is probably going to be the focal port portion of the presentation, which makes sense. That comes out next month. Um, I am maybe hoping for, like, an announcement of a new Mario game, because we haven't really gotten a new, new Mario game. Mario Odyssey. Cause yeah, we had like the 3D World port and the new Super Mario Brothers U port, but I don't consider those new games. I consider those ports and remakes. We haven't had like a new new one in a hot minute. I'm um, also mainly on Switch show, so we might hear something about Switch Online stuff. Hopefully, like update on fucking Mario Party 3 because like that was supposed to be early 2023 and it's now almost July and then once the direct's done and we're done talking about everything um we'll We'll kind of, we'll jump into Persona 4. Because I actually have to come in with Lovely. That's exciting. Yeah, I think it'll be good. It's, I doubt we're going to hear any Pokemon news. Those almost always get their own presentation. Like from my summer playlist, by the way. Talk about just talk about stuff while we're waiting for the direct to start. Come on, man, quit that thing. Um, we are, I am still raising money for Trevor Project. So you can donate there. Um, I don't personally have any incentives, but I believe a couple of the other people I'm working with for this have set up incentives. So, that's always a uh, option. Oh, I got an email from Ray. Um, so right now, if with any order, any order you place on the Ray's website, uh, you will get a sample of the new What the Duck flavor. should just rewrite that.
I reached out to a couple devs. So I'm just kind of waiting to hear back from them. He's still waiting on Not really any updates on the fucking Titanic sub. But at the very least, I'm not finding any on Twitter. minutes folks
I don't usually watch these live. I usually wait for a VOD so I can pause the video if I need to to talk about stuff. But, whatever. The life was quiet all around. Cute little island, nice and non-violent. But everything turned upside down when a new guy came to town. We got along, he showed me ways to craft and test things. That cut intestines said we could party at his place. I love the art wave that came out of Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing coming out on the same day. Yeah, I've already seen people being like, Breath of the Wild 9, Mario Kart 9, like, at most, we'll hear about the next wave of Mario Kart DLC. Breath of the Wild isn't going to be announced for another fucking four years, minimum. Like, people have... I will never understand how people will just willfully hype themselves up to be disappointed when a direct that explicitly mentions what's going to be discussed doesn't meet their lofty expectations. Like, it tells you right here what's going to be discussed in the direct. Switch titles launching this year, including new details on Pikmin 4. So you should be already reading that and saying, okay, that means that Breath of the Wild 3 is off the table. Somebody else's lake. You dream about going out there, but that is a big mistake. I just look at the world around you. Anyone who's honestly expecting Breath of the Wild more than like a title drop for Breath of the Wild 3 is setting themselves up to be disappointed. At most, we'll get a title card drop. Mario Kart, it's not, they're not, probably not going to announce, like, a full new game. Um, most likely it would be kind of te a teaser for the next wave of DLC in the Booster Force Path. We got the spirit, you got to 
Okay, hot take. I'm low key kind of eager to see the do the live action Little Mermaid. I do. I partly because Chuds are mad that Ariel is black. It's like, boy, if that makes you mad, wait till you hear how the original novel ends. Like, like, boy, if, if Ariel being black in this particular adaptation upsets you, wait till you hear how the original Hans Christian Andersen novel ends. Jesus. So stupid to get upset by shit like that. Like, honestly, it's so stupid. I don't understand why people get themselves riled up. Apparently, uh, oh, apparently Atlas uploaded the uh, Persona 3 Reload trailer and accidentally leaked that it's also coming to Switch. So we'll probably get it on Switch and play it there when it comes out. Of course, I'll probably have to get a new Switch at some point. Hi princess, how are you? We're just waiting for the uh, direct to start. Oh! I love your PNG, I love it too. If you would like to know who drew it. Whoa! Pokemon. That's who drew it. We got no sound. Cool. There we go. Wool. Flagar. Vulpix. Volcario. Napalm. Ooh. Carmine. Um, Whooper! Whooper! Johto form Whooper. Whoa. Oh, you get like a festival outfit. That's cute. Oil. I suppose that's the teal mask that it's talking about. Cyrano. Our team we need to go kiss. Ah, 
striker. Oh no, Winsicott! Meister Winsicott's coming back, baby. All 2023. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be one of your I guys. I do still worry about the quick Direct. turnaround between. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll also be um, today. Big Tits. Hi, Sadra. Yes, I have Big Tits. Area Zero, the paid DLC for the Pokemon Scarlet I do worry about the quick Pokemon turnaround games. between the first half part the one and part two. Took place at a festival in the countryside. While the second half seemed to be in a completely different location, a futuristic academy. Didn't know Pokemon had DLCs. Yeah, it's something they started More last generation. On this DLC will be available so in the future. Sword and Shield had uh, and after today's Nintendo Direct DLC, special event couple will DLC be held packs in Pokemon well. Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Whoa. We hope you'll participate in it. Okay, let's see our first batch of headlines. Sonic. It's a supersonic squad of superstars. Sonic and friends are spin dashing into a brand new 2D side scrolling game, Sonic Superstars. 12 brand new zones await. Speed through beautiful worlds as Sonic. Take to the skies as Tails. That's a Nintendo game. Scale walls and yeah. glide as Knuckles. Or swing a powerful hammer as Amy Oh, Rose. interesting. I was wondering how they were going to make Harness Amy different. The incredible power of the Chaos Emeralds. You can summon a storm of clones. Uncover hidden I really wanted it to be on PC. It's I think it's so also coming more. out on PC. And for the first time in the series, local co-op is available for up to 4 players. Oh no, the Sonic 1 Combine special your stages and take on the evil Dr. Eggman. When Sonic Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Yeah, I think it's also coming to like all the major consoles. It's just around the corner. Whoa. Welcome to Palea in this free-to-play adventure sim. Create the idyllic life of your dreams alongside in-game characters and players from and all over the world. And that means it's going to be monetized. It's going to have Build microtransactions. Houses, decorate your home plot. Ugh. Grow crops in your garden and more. Play with other residents in online co-op or carve out your blissful life solo. And if you're eager to explore, there's plenty of life beyond the village. Set off on a vast journey to uncover Paleo's many mysteries. Or just kick back and relax at home. How you live is entirely up to you. What kind of coziness will you choose? Paleo is free to play and launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Free to play. Ugh. Ignite your heart. Whoa, Persona. The Phantom Thieves return in this tactical spin-off of Persona 5. Okay, interesting. Tactics when the group coming ends up to... in an unfamiliar world, they must join forces with a revolutionary named Arena to combat the armies. I that love that it's control. the Persona Q art style. During battle, assess the situation and determine whether to unleash an attack up close from afar or using a persona. Knock enemies down to perform another action called One More. Then surround your foes and take them out with dramatic flair using the new all-out attack, Triple Threat. That is actually the pretty ability cool. From the Persona series returns, allowing you to combine Personas to form other ones. What is Arena's true objective? And what truths lie hidden in this strange world? 
A revolutionary team so it's like Disgaea gameplay, so and then it works in like Persona, November 17. like staples the of the Persona of the series, like the All Out Attack, today. Persona Fusion. Check your local That's pretty retailers. cool. Step into a Saturday morning cartoon. But why? Calling all heroes for the first person roguelike adventure, Myth Force. Enter a high this fantasy actually world looks inspired neat. by Saturday morning cartoons of the past. It's up to you to stop the evil Daedalus from taking over, but it won't be easy. Treacherous tombs and cryptic castles threaten your survival. Wield medieval weapons and legendary magic to smite hordes of monsters. During each run, you can find treasure to help boost your character's abilities, weapons, and more. Plus, up to four brave heroes can share the adventure in online co-op. Drop in and out at any time as you face the many perils ahead. By the power of teamwork, Myth Force launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. Hmm. Interesting. This flat vest Whoa. is going to be pretty sweet. Big man. Hey. The next Splatfest for the Splatoon 3 game has been confirmed. Okay, squids, here's the theme. Which flavor of ice cream is best? Vanilla, strawberry, or mint chip? Ooh, that should be this an interesting one. This will be held during the dates shown on screen. Mmm, these choices are delicious. Guide your favorite flavor to victory. Plus, get splatting in themed battles with challenges. More oh, splatastic events are on the way. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. Whoa, Pokemon. Talion. To promote an even stronger bond between the people and Pokemon of Rhyme City. I hereby proclaim this day the start of Pokemon Friendship Week. Tim Goodman, Pikachu. Oh, Detective Pikachu. You two are the ideal detective duo. Whoa. Disguises are a key part of detective work. Quit goofing off and investigate. Ah, so much for my coffee. Something tells me this is just the beginning. A light roast today, huh? <laughs> There is something the two of you must know. You, you too. too. Based on our deductions, the culprit is clear, isn't it? Uh, a bolt of brilliance. The name's Pikachu, and I'm what you might call a great detective. Whoa. I sure wish somebody would bring me some coffee. That was Detective Pikachu. I've been Richard. surprised by how much Pokemon stuff they've shown. Looks like he still loves Usually you don't see a lot of Pokemon stuff in these. Tim and this tough talking Pikachu solve together. More info will be revealed in the future. Next, please take a look at this. <gasps> Mario RPG! Oh my god! Love how they kept stubby little Mario. They kept stubby little Mario, I love it. Mallow.
love that they kept the super deformed art style. Fuck. 11.17. Originally released on Super NES, Super Mario RPG returns with brand new graphics. Whether you played the original game or not, why not take the opportunity to jump into the very first RPG in the Mario series? Mr. Koizumi, that last trailer featured Mario, but he's not the only one getting a game. Huh? What do you mean? Let's take a peek. That's right. Princess Peach will star as the main character in a brand new game. When she steps on this particular spot on stage, Huh? Whoa. What on earth is happening? That's all we'll show for now. We'll share more details at a later date. Mr. Koizumi. I'm very cautious because the last time they gave Peach her own game, it was pretty bad. Whoa, a visually Mansion. enhanced version of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, originally released on Nintendo 3DS, is in development. We hope you look forward nice. to seeing more of Luigi's ghostly antics. I only ever played the original one, so I might be Both interested games in playing that. Will launch next year. Mario, Princess Peach, and Luigi. Looks like Mario fans have a lot of games to look forward to. More details mm -hmm. will be shared in the future. All right, let's see some more headlines. Become Gotham City's ultimate protector. Wake up, Mr. Wayne. We have much to discuss. I want you to know the fear that is coming. This is the beginning of the end for you, Dark Knight. You're all going down. I'm so tired of grim dark Batman games. You still know how to make an entrance. Welcome to the madhouse, Batman! Today is the Joker's big homecoming, and you're the guest of honor! Soon I will command forces beyond your comprehension. I've waited long enough. So wait, is it... Is it just like a trilogy? This place trilogy is collection? Interesting. Wow. Gotham would be ours. Oh, and definitive versions. I believe that That's the cool idea. if those were your jam. I'm just kind of tired of grimdark Batman games. Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome here. Batman Arkham Trilogy launches on Nintendo Switch. This ball. I mean, that's cool. I do wonder how well they'll run. Because those are in graphically intensive games. Lead your mercenaries through cursed dungeons in the lands of Gloomhaven. Your tactical prowess is all that stands between riches and certain death. This adaptation of the hit board game features turn based card battles with RPG elements. Unleash deadly combos and bring doom upon your foes. But beware, exhaustion is close at hand. Choose from 17 different mercenaries, brave over 260 grueling missions, and master over 1,000 abilities. Hone your deck, set up synergies, and gain every advantage to survive. Grit your pretty teeth neat. and earn your keep when Gloomhaven launches on the Nintendo Switch Tactics system. Tactics games September generally 18. aren't my jam. Pre-orders for the Mercenaries and Gold Editions begin so today like, on I'm Nintendo eShop. So, like, I'm personally eShop. not too excited for that, but it looks neat. Keep the dance oh, party fuck going. yeah. No time for bad news, no Cause God forbid we don't get a new Just, Just Dance.
This Dance Plus is a streaming service. Uh, October 24th. The big problem I have with Ubisoft. lies in a world Ooh. without words. One day, a once peaceful realm Ooh. was silenced by its king. Now, seven wordless warriors will rise. Cute In this art action style. RPG, these heroes bound by fate must work together to explore the abyss and find the secluded king. However, with its ever-changing dungeons and powerful foes, conquering the abyss will be no easy feat. Wield weapons like swords, bows, magic, and more to survive this deadly chasm. After you return to base, materials you've collected will help you cultivate resources and forge new items. Repeated forays into the abyss will enable you to grow stronger and dive deeper. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Your guide on this journey this is the classic roguelike princess uh, encased in a crystal of her own tears. And through a mysterious power, her voice reverberates in the hearts of the silent warriors. Why did the king steal the world's words? And what awaits the warriors in the depths of the abyss? Silent Hope dives onto Nintendo Switch October 3rd. Sparks will fly in these Nintendo Switch games. Mm -hmm. Cast spells and cultivate your best life in Fae Farm. Make use of magic to complete tasks and fend off mischievous foes. Enrich your farm to help your character flourish. Decorate your space to improve your stats for the day ahead. And enchant your friends locally or online in four-player co-op. Fae Farm launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch September 8th. Pre-orders including an in-game bonus are available now on Nintendo eShop. Hmm. Zoom into wild racing action Whoa, with this Hot Wheels fun. Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. Choose from over 130 vehicles and pull off outrageous stunts to avoid obstacles, find shortcuts, and knock your rivals out of the way. Unleash your creativity by modifying your vehicles and building your own tracks. Race locally with friends in split-screen co-op. Plus, up to 12 players can hit the track online. Grab the wheel when this game speeds onto the Nintendo Switch system October 19th. Get your chassis looking classy in Manic Mechanics. Grab a part, fix it up, and toss it over. Repair vehicles quickly to earn points in solo play or four-player co-op. This looks fun, watch too. Watch out for treacherous pits, pesky UFOs, and other workplace hazards. Manic Mechanics launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch July 13th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Introducing the second paid DLC for Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Mario and friends journey to a musical planet, filled with new areas to explore and new enemies to battle. What else will they find in this world of melodies? Oh, connect to King this Baba. This new DLC, The Last Spark Hunter, launches later today. But why? A demo of the main game is available now on Nintendo eShop. Monsters! You really think you stand a chance against us? <laughs> Toriyama art style. to become a monster wrangler. No, they're doing more Dragon Quest monsters?
I remember playing Dragon Warrior Monsters. Dragon Quest Monsters, oh my god! I remember playing that on the Game Boy Color! The so-called hero is here! Back when it was called Dragon Warrior in the West. Oh, that's awesome! That was Dragon Quest Monsters, the Dark Prince from Square Enix. What kind of journey will you take to become the master of monster kind? Please be on the lookout for more info in the future. Next, we have more news on a certain game with plant-like creatures. Pikmin. Welcome to the Rescue Corps. As its newest recruit, you'll venture to a mysterious planet with all sorts of life forms. There, you'll meet plant-like creatures called Pikmin. Whoa. And the adorable rescue pup, Ochi. Good boy. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, repair the damaged Rescue Corps spaceship and save any castaways you find. All right, let's explore together. Once plucked, Pikmin are ready for action. Blow your whistle to gather them and have them follow you. Throw your little buds at things and they'll start working for you. Ochi will also prove to be a great canine companion. He can carry items with Pikmin or smash obstacles in your way. And if you need a flotation device, well, there you go. Ochi can even stand up to the wildest creatures. That'll be interesting to see how Collect speedrunners take advantage of that. Treasures scattered around the planet to That's just the a Game Boy. Radar and open up new areas to explore. Exploration isn't limited to the surface, though. Why not take the plunge underground? Here, a completely different environment awaits. Unusual contraptions. Native creatures. And even more treasures are around every corner. You might unexpectedly find some castaways, too. Hey, wait a minute. This leafy individual just nabbed the castaway. You've got to stop him. It's time for a Dandori battle. Embrace the art of Dandori by strategically issuing commands to your Pikmin and Ochi. Collect more objects than your opponent within the time limit to win and save the castaway. By rescuing castaways, you'll be able to do more activities back at base camp, which is right next to your spaceship. Train Ochi and teach him new skills. Or build new equipment and items to help make exploration more manageable. For the first time in the Pikmin series, you can eventually set out for night expeditions. Whoa. But there's a catch. Nightfall sends creatures into a frenzy, so stay alert. Thankfully, you'll come across the new Glow Pikmin, which only appear at night. Find luminols that produce valuable glow sap. These mounds also attract various wildlife, so use Glow Pikmin to drive them away and protect the luminols. So it's kind of a tower defense. Many more surprises await on this uncharted planet. This but looks really good. And Ochi by your side. No challenge is too big or too small. Pikmin 4. This looks really fun. In past Pikmin games, you had to return to your spaceship before sundown. Yeah. However, in this latest entry, you can now venture out at night. We hope you can lead the Pikmin on your expedition. I think that's a good evolution for the series, to we be have honest. even more Pikmin news to share. 
The HD versions of the first two Pikmin games, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will launch on Nintendo eShop later today. What? Yo, that's awesome! The release, a demo of Pikmin 4 will be available on Nintendo eShop on June 28th. Okay, I might have to pick that up. enjoyed, even if you've never played a game in the Pikmin series before. Oh, that's so we hope good. try it out when it releases. Okay, let's see a few more headlines. The renowned series of stealth action games is infiltrating Nintendo Switch as Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. This compilation includes Metal Gear Solid, infiltrate and regain control of Shadow Moses Island. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, locate and retrieve a deadly amphibious weapon. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, survive the jungle and confront your former mentor you can also enjoy the games that started the series metal gear and metal gear 2 solid snake as well as the nes versions of both metal gear and snake's revenge this compilation also contains the first metal gear solid digital graphic novel and its sequel that's pretty cool Additional content includes screenplay books and master books with story and character info, strategy guides for each game, and a digital soundtrack. Oh, that's cool. Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. Pre-orders begin today on I might pick that up because I have always wanted to play the Metal Gear Solid games. I just never had a PS2. So I never got a chance to. It's time to survive. Castlevania. Steal oh no, Vampire Survivor. Vampire okay, Survivors yeah. is coming to Nintendo Switch. Do you have what it takes to survive a 30-minute onslaught of monsters? Stay I love move to avoid enemies and attack automatically with your weapons. Seems easy at first, right? But swarms yep. of increasingly stronger monsters will appear the longer you survive. By getting treasure chests from defeated enemies, or by leveling up, you'll acquire weapons and upgrades for your character, so shape them as you see fit. Plus, up to four players can now play together in Couch Co-op. What other horrors lie in store? Find out when Vampire Survivors launches on the Nintendo Switch system, August 17th. That's cool. Music and pigeons? Sounds pretty cool. God damn it. You're a pigeon. Yeah, you heard that right. Uh -huh. Play online in this rhythm battle royale and aim to be the last bird standing. Up to 30 players can ruffle each other's feathers in musical mini-games. Oh, Copy the leader's so... actions perfectly in Yes, Commander. Fire a slingshot to play music in First Piano Shooter. Race and fly to the rhythm in To the Sky and more. With over 20 mini-games, you're in for an impeccably good time. Get ready to shake those pigeon tails when Headbangers Rhythm Royale bops its way onto Nintendo on Switch Halloween. October 31st. That's cool. Ready, set, yo! Penny is on the run. Entangled in a chaotic audition that veered way off script, she's managed to make some powerful enemies and a newly animated friend. In this 3D platforming adventure from the team behind Sonic Mania, you'll explore the bright and colorful world of Macaroon and help Penny fun. and Yo-Yo escape the clutches of the grouchy Emperor Eddie. Perform stylish acrobatic tricks to avoid Eddie's massive horde of pushy penguins and power up Yo-Yo to protect Penny from foul play. You can also put your speed running skills to the test in time attack mode to unlock special items, complete secret stages, and more. This is your big break, after all. Take the stage when Penny's Big Breakaway launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. Interesting. Rev up. Oh, here we go. Five. 
A brand new course is racing Ooh. into wave five of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. Introducing Squeaky Clean, Squeaky Clean Sprint. I love the More pixel art on the walls in this course already. From Mario Kart Double Yo, PD Piranha! Oh my god. From Mario Kart Wiggler. 7, Wiggler. And from Mario Kart Tour, Comet. I mean, that's fine, it's whatever. Wave 5 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game zooms onto Nintendo Switch this summer. This summer, okay. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Two worlds, Damn, three one characters? A remake of the second Star Ocean game, complete with new graphics that fuse 2D and 3D, is on the way. After a mission goes wrong, Federation Officer Claude is stranded on an undeveloped planet. There, he meets Reyna, who possesses mystical powers. Was it fate or mere coincidence? Soon after, the two get entangled in a sinister plot within the galaxy. In this science fantasy RPG, Whoa. select either Claude or Reyna as your hero and play through the story from their perspective. Oh, You'll also meet over a dozen potential allies from all walks of life. During your adventure, the hero you chose and the decisions you make will have an impact on who can be recruited to your cause. The enemy is it? Battles take place in real time. That's and good. Skills can be performed with a single. Like, I like when they basically create a whole second game based on who you pick up to start. New combat features in this remake include stunning enemies with chain attacks and having allies not in your current party unleash follow up attacks, letting you map out strategic battles in your favor. As you search for a way home, an ancient prophecy will unfold and your destiny will be awakened. Save the planet in Star Ocean the Second Story R, launching on Nintendo Switch November 2nd. It's time to move it Wario style. New WarioWare? Get ready for more micro game mayhem in the latest WarioWare game. Hold two Joy-Con controllers, then action! Oh no. Move your body to take on a flurry of lightning fast micro games. What you do and how you move depends on the micro game. React quickly with the right movement and you'll be on the road to victory. Excellent! If you've got two pairs of controllers, play with a friend in local co-op. Sync up your actions to beat each micro game. Plus, up to four players can live it up across various mini games in party mode. For example, this dicey board game is going to keep you on your toes. Get your body moving in over 200 lightning fast micro games. In WarioWare, move it. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Pre orders begin. I mean, today I would prefer a new Nintendo Wario Wii Land Shop. game, but I'll take what I can get. Why aren't you saying anything? He was so into it, I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> anyway, this is the latest WarioWare game. You'll use your entire body to strike different poses and complete micro games. We have a few more things to share. Families can join the fun at Nintendo Live 2023. Play games. Enjoy live performances. Take photos with some of your favorite characters and more. Plus, cheer on your favorite players in two championships. Eligible attendees can also compete in on-site tournaments and participate in a last chance qualifier. This all ages celebration is free and will take place September 1st through 4th in Seattle, Washington. Registration for Nintendo Live 2023 ends June 22nd. Head over to the official website and enter the random drawing for a chance to receive tickets. PAX West badge holders interested in attending can visit the official PAX West website for more details. Those not selected will have another chance to attend with the three challenge cups this summer. 
The top 10 players from each will get tickets. Please visit the official website for more details. See Whoa. you there. A vast number of players are enjoying their time in Hyrule in the Legend of Zelda I am not Tears one of, of the them. Kingdom, which released last month. Thank you all very much. An amiibo figure of Link from the game was released to coincide with the game's launch. New amiibo of Zelda and Ganondorf are planned oh, to be fuck. released this holiday. We hope they scrambled him. Okay, this next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. A new 2D Mario. This looks so expressive. Oh my god. Flower? Oh, Bard's gonna be happy. Daisy's playable. Yoshi, nice. This looks really interesting. that what that goomba looks so so well then well then oh no that was the brand new 2d side scrolling mario game super mario brothers wonder when you touch a wonder flower expect the unexpected the ground could start moving or you might turn into something different for example there were also flowers talking. Daisy is playable. Daisy is playable. I love that that's a... Uh, a lot of things happen. What the fuck is this? We'll share more details in the future, so we hope you'll look forward to it. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Alrighty. That was interesting. So that was about what I expected to see. Mario Kart. I, there was more Pokemon stuff than I was really expecting to see. Like, I'm surprised they announced a new Pokemon game outside of a Pokemon Presents. Put the music back on. Yeah, like, I'm really surprised. I was not expecting them to announce a uh, 
new Pokemon game outside of like a dedicated Pokemon presentation. Um, I'll probably end up picking up the Metal Gear Solid Collection. Because those are games I've always wanted to play. Like, I remember those coming out when I was growing up. But I never had a PS2, so I never got a chance to play them. Um, I'll probably pick up the new Mario game as well. Because it looks fun. It looks fun and interesting. I would have liked to see more courses revealed for the Mario Kart DLC, but you know, the fact that we're getting, I can't really complain about getting three new playable characters. So it's like, all right. Overall, I think it was a good direct. Um, Nintendo made very clear what what was going to be discussed, games coming out this year, and more details on Pikmin 4. And that's exactly what we got. And anyone that was honestly expecting a gigantic announcement was only setting themselves up for disappointment. Anyone who was honestly expecting like a Smash or a new Mario Kart announcement beyond, D beyond DLC was just setting themselves up to be disappointed. Plain and simple. Like, that's just the reality. Um, but I think that that is for a break. Yeah, it's been a little bit, a little over an hour. So, we'll take a quick break. I'll get everything set up for Persona, and we'll play that for a little bit. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> 